Hi, I'm Isla and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a small craft project with you and it's sort of based on a present that somebody gave me a very long time ago. So my friend's mother actually stitched this towel. She cross-stitched this hand towel for me and I've loved it and had it for absolutely years and it's beautiful and what's clever about it is that it's sort of got this integrated panel in the terry toweling so that's a sort of cross stitch area and so she actually cross stitched directly onto the towel now my little brother put this through the wash with some darks and that's probably where we should leave that conversation because i was fuming and really really upset because i obviously adore this towel and it's got some very dark splodges on the back and <clears throat> I thought it would be a nice idea to copy the pattern because it's so pretty. And also I wanted to make a present for my godchild. So I first found some Ada band. So I couldn't actually find this kind of towel where this kind of cross stitch fabric was already integrated into the towel. So I went onto Amazon and I found this, which is called Ada Band. And I will link in the, I'll link in the description, the width of this, because I think this is the perfect width. It's something like three inches wide. And I can't remember the cross stitch count or anything, but I think it's pretty perfect to go onto a towel. Now, I actually already had some Ada Band because I have done this project once before, but I had a sort of half started project. And so what I did was I kind of unpicked the project that wasn't going very well. You can see there, that's a bit of the project that's not gone very well. I'm not very good at wasting things. I can't bear waste, in fact. What I did is sort of unpicked it and then I started copying the pattern on the other half. There you go. I'd done obviously about four rows and I realised that I wasn't going to have enough thread to match and do the rest of what I needed. And so I went to my neighbour Mary because we don't have a great haberdashery shop and I wasn't anywhere near London. So I sort of said to Mary, do you think you've got anything that might remotely match this? And she said, oh yes, I've got thousands upon thousands. She brought boxes and boxes and boxes of that. And would you believe none of them, none of them matched. So I picked the best sort of match and lo and behold, it does look quite different, but I think that's okay. You know, I think it's something that's handmade. It's a present. You don't want it to look like it's sort of be made in a factory or something so you know it's absolutely fine and I'm going to continue on and actually I ended up having to buy a new bath sheet towel and it's much wider than I realized it was going to be so then I'm just going to have to kind of add one figure here add another figure here keep going in that vein and it's all going to be fine these are the threads that Mary gave me lovely she gave me two like that yeah so i'll show you when i've done a little bit more here is the finished towel i'm quite happy with how it turned out i mean the stitching's a little bit a little bit wonky in places i'm not sure it was completely the dream to switch thread colors but you know I'm a big believer in using what you have and yeah, I gave it a quick wash before I stitched on the aid band, I've got to mention that. And here is the towel all folded up, I think it looks really pretty hanging there. And if you want to follow this pattern, I'm going to be sharing it on my Patreon page, so I'll link that in the description below. I've got such a nice group there already of patrons. and. I am going to be hopefully sharing more creative content as I go along, thinking about how I can share special things with my patrons. Check it out. <laughs> 